Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So, uh, as you guys know, or may not know, I'm actually going to be taking Satellar Star Saros over to the Yuha Regional. So, uh, I said Yuha? Yuha? Utah Regionals. And, uh, I pretty much this episode I'm just going to be testing it out. Just, you know, playing the deck. Playing the deck. Yep. So, uh, there's actually one thing that was... I had a kind of idea of doing, but I'm not completely sure if I would want to do that. But uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and play some of this deck. You know? So, to tell us Star Seraphs, it's, you know, it's kind of expensive, but, uh, you know, I had the, the Satellars, and then one of my teammates had the Star Seraphs, and he's like, here you go. So, obviously, stop, Blue Boy, stop the play. You know, that, that's, that's, that's really one of the main reasons why... Uh, <laughs> why uh, spellbooks are not as good because they rely on blue boy so much, like so much. Like, see, I stopped the blue boy play. Anything else happened this turn? His turn? No. And I got another fiendish chain for your ass right here. You gotta call the haunted. That's nice. I'm trying to find the right ratio between you know the altair, the, the nabs, the calls, and all of that good stuff. You know, um, I was checking out you know multiple decks that topped and you know OCG decks and you know just people's deck profiles in general. You know. And, uh, seems like, you know, they don't run as many, uh, particular cards. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and show me those and summon. Let's sign. So you had a, a fate, a tower, and a wisdom. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Are you gonna use the effect or are you just gonna come at me? If you come at me, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, you're going to make yourself unaffected by trap cards. That is totally fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and kill my, uh, kill my, no, I don't care. I want him in the grave. Like I said, I could honest you, but I want him in the grave, so. But yeah, I, I'm just trying to see. Right now, the top decks, they're not running Unuk. Which is kind of interesting. Definitely kind of interesting. Okay, what do you do? Okay, I guess. That's what you want to do. I didn't even know they played strength. Like, sure. That's just, if you want to use your effect, that's just one less spell book I have to worry about for fate. Which I know you have in your hand. Like, wow, really? No, that's fine. Oh. A spellbook player, but a bad spellbook player. Alright. That sucks. I kind of wanted that card. That's the one card that I wanted. The head assery is real. That is the one card that I wanted. I wanted that. You could have bounced anything else and I would have been happy. Well, not happy, but fine. But of course, it got my call. Now I gotta freaking reset it. That's fine. I don't care. Hit me, I don't care. Light points are just resources. I said, it doesn't matter if I beat you at 8,000 or 100. A victory is a victory in Yu Gi Oh! So. I said, like, go ahead and end your turn. You know, you don't got anything. Another mirror force. Alright. We're gonna grip a back row in this deck to, you know, get out of the gin, the gin lock and then just, you know, stall my opponent. But. Go ahead and. Some new back, sir. Huh? You will go ahead and activate. Go ahead and give me another Altair. Keep the place going. Uh, go ahead and make a Castell and spin that bitch back. Yeah, so she says I can't attack. Oh. Oh. One Castell. Let's put her back in the deck. So, even if you draw her again, you can't even summon her again, so. And if you want to go ahead and try to take this and crash into me, personally, I don't even care, so. And more back row. I never have enough back row. I'm going to say, all you really do is open up a Dungeon Neb, and, or a Rota, and you're okay, you know. The Star Stars are in here, I just haven't gotten any. This duel, which is okay, I guess. You don't have any spell books in your graveyard because you decided to go ahead and use her to put it back instead of, you know, throw additional 500 attack. Like, okay, sure. 
That's fine. Picos? Oh, you're burning through resources. You are burning through resources. Whew. But yeah, my idea of what I was thinking about doing will be in a separate video. In a separate video. Okay. Uh, your best move right now. Oh no, you can go ahead and use your uh, strength of prophecy. You can go ahead and put it back. I don't care. I don't care. Hit you with the mirror force now, because I actually want to hold on to the castell for extra damage. Alright, and you can just quit. Let's give it up. Yep. Alright, let's get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, let's get another duel in. Still testing out this a Teller Star Seraphs. Alright, oh, well, once again, opened up the nav, so his hand's not terrible. It's totally playable. Yeah. Oh, you're also using the Teller Knights. Ooh, okay. Wish I would've went first. Wow, you know, first turn sham burned me. Okay. I'm not running sham anymore. I don't need it. XC into Omega. Wow. Okay. Let me draw a fucking scepter. Alright, I'll go ahead and play out start. I'm drawing to my next card. Running a 37 card deck. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll just go ahead and summon Denev and search. Unless he has like a Phoenix Chain or something. Don't have to worry about Nova. Give me Altair. And, uh... Yeah, just set, 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 set. wonder if he's going to overextend and summon, like, another, uh... You know, more plays. That's what I'm wondering right now. And phase MST? And phase Compulse! Wow. A, Compulse isn't that good this format, and B, you really want to return my fucking Danette back to my hand. I guess, I guess you're really afraid of Nova. Mm, no. Okay. Shock the living hell out of me. Like, okay. He just compulsed my monster. Like, fine. <laughs> Still debating on how many Vegas I should be running. And I'm running one, but I could probably increase it up to two. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you, summon you. Yeah, I need two Vegas, because if I go summon you, summon you starts, then all I got is Altair's Wrath, which is not terrible. No, because Altair can summon the Vega out of the Grave Rat, and then it can summon the Dinette from my hand, so I'm still fine. I'll probably keep the Dineb there, just because I can make a Triv next turn. No, I want to kill the Dineb. Hmm, I can go to you next turn. What should I go for? I don't know who I should go for. Hmm. I'm gonna take the dual saw. Not really in a hurry, my life points are still okay, so. Yeah, I should run two Vega. One is not cutting it. Okay, so. Like that. I'm probably just going to do like a deck profile at the end of the video, just to be like, hey, you know, this is what I'm working with right now, if you guys have any suggestions. Oh, I should have crashed. I should have crashed. It's fine. Should have got the Deneb off the field. That would have been a smarter play. Alright, so I'm going to nuke. It's fine. Drop a sham. Why wow, you run multiple shams? I only need one. If you're running it, I'm running so Teller Star there, so you don't need sham anymore. Ah, uh, this is probably the serious I've ever been with this deck. Usually I'm playing for fun, but I was like, you know what? Let me just try to go to this regionals and do something. 
so of course I'll probably be facing this Attila Mirror match, so. And now I'm up on resources. Uh, I'm down on life points, but I'm up on resources, so I'm not in a terrible situation. Alright, he's gonna see. Okay. Interesting. I wouldn't even play him. I'm a mirror force. So I don't lose too much life points. Mm-hmm. It's fine, you can draw a card, I don't care. Pile of Domino, like... You, should, you shouldn't play him, because you can't fucking, you know, attack. I'll up start again. I just need to get to my freaking Scepter. If I can get to my Scepter, we can go off the plays. Nope, still no scepter. Alright. Oh. You got something? Nope? Okay. Summon an Altair. Altair, summon the Deneb. See? And this is why I would like a second Vega, because then Deneb can go ahead and summon me the Vega. Oh, it was bottomless. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, I guess I'll just go into uh Castell. Yeah. Castell. Let's put it back in extra deck. Of course I still can't attack because I use all tire effect, which is totally fine. And I'm going still up on resources, so you can go back. Did you got a veil or something? I thought. Go ahead. Yeah, two Vegas. Testing it out now. Two Vegas. So. So I don't know what he does next turn, I'll go ahead and summon Altair, Altair. So do you have the combo? Did you get the the combo? Or is that it? Do you already have the another sovereignty? If you do, then I'm gonna get fucked up. That's fine. Kind of waste of an Ugeki, but sure. Hmm. Hmm. Three attacks, I'll take 18, that'll put me at... What is that, 400? Yeah, and then I can just simply get shammed. And I don't want to get sham woohooed. Not right now. I need to stay away from sham territory as much as possible. So if you want to go ahead and try to, you know, use a regeki on my one monster, I have more power to you. I'm about to make it. Ugh. Yeah, see, it's not best to go ahead and go into Trev now. Probably out of searches too. Yeah, that is not the best to be going into a uh, into a uh, triv right now. Because if I triv, then I return this to the hand, and if I get unlucky and I pick the wrong card out of his hand, because I know he has a sovereignty and I know he has a scepter, I'm gonna be screwed. So, but I'm sorry. One more time. God damn it! Like, where are my scepters? He got Scepter, how come I can't get Scepter? Shit. Ah, uh, if only you weren't here. If you weren't here. Oh, I don't even have any more Tunnel Knights in the grave. Yeah, too Vega. Alright, we'll go ahead and Delta Russ. I am totally out of searches. Alright, 
I gave you 3,000 life points and start shaving them back off again. So, not in a ter terrible position, just not in the most opportune si situations either. I would really like to just draw a scepter. Now, if I draw a scepter, I can just go scepter, search, summon, draw, 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 draw. So you can turn like another Daltaros or no Ouroboros or something. Did he even put the does he even have a Deneb? He does, he does. I remember Phoenix chained it. I remember. Stop that search so he can grab his all air and continue his combos like I've been doing this duel. No. <laughs> no, though. Hmm. Is it a Nova? No. Oh. Okay. That's fine. All right. Now I'm gonna make a triv. I didn't detach fucking Vega. Wow, I'm so fucking bad. Oh my god, I'm so fucking bad. Oh, I detached the wrong fucking shit. God fucking damn it. I detached the wrong fucking shit. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Ah! Oh, I had one job. I had one fucking job. How are you crashing? He has honest. Is he even a threat? He has sovereign in his hand. So I don't really have to worry. Oh, kinda. I kinda do, because he can make an next time next turn. Yeah, I gotta kill it. He doesn't have honest. Sovereign. Oh, duh. You know that. No, oh, I'll keep the Dothros being chained because I can go ahead and send it. Activate Nova. I don't know, top decking won't save you, sir. Damn, got another one, Dothros. God, I wish I had two Vegas. This duel is pretty much over. I'm about to have triple Deneb on the field. Wow, and no Scepter in sight. I do more damage if I attack first. Alright. Might be game. I don't think so, though. Is it? Oh, it's perfectly game. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Ugh. Even when I'm bad, I'm not terrible. Alright, I'm gonna get one more duel, and then I'll do the deck profile. So I'll be right back. Alright. Ooh. Lots of old back row. Just a crap ton of back row. So I'm not sure how I feel about Ring of Destruction. So I'll probably take it out for, uh... uh um... Another Rego. I said we're about to do deck profile right after this duel. Let's go ahead and help me out. Ooh, it's a bad hero matchup. No, it's fine. Mm hmm. You gonna add a Blazeman? I mean, are you gonna add a Shadow Mist? Are you gonna add a Polly? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna send. Oh, drop my cards. So I'm pretty much just gonna stall the fuck out until I get something. See, that's, the, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the consistency ratio between the monsters and the back row. It's fine. I'll take 16. I 
probably use Dark Lab plays. Why don't you send why don't you send Shadow Mist? If you were gonna do that. Maybe he's gonna get greedy. Now I'm gonna force you. <laughs> you could have had a monster right now if you would have sent Shadow Mist. I don't know why you didn't. Alright. Set. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, it's fine. Mhm. Mm Take that. Wanna change him again? Or did you just want a 26 beater? Nope, just 26 beater. Alright. Uh, this is going fucking great. See, this is what I'm worried about with this deck. That is totally what I'm worried about with this deck. So it's not once per turn, it's not when you're normal summon, so. Another one? No, that's fine. Thank you, fucking, fucking Dead Pro right now. Not allowing me to draw into anything. It's not even good heroes either. Okay, I guess. So I'm assuming that you have another mass change to try to go for another Dark Wall. Now you're just gonna poly. Okay. Yes. I'm bottomless him. God damn it! Come on, fucking Dev Pro, please cooperate with me. Just give me a Deneb or something. Thank you. Finally. At least my back row can last long enough for me to stall out. Got something from him? No? Okay. See, see how reluctant I am to play the Ring of Destruction? Because I don't want to take that damage. I'm already down on life points, so I don't even want to play that shit. Super reluctant right now. I might just take this card. I don't like this card. <laughs> uh, yeah, too Vega. Definitely too Vega. I'll keep poking you for 15. Totally fine with that. Go ahead. I'm not in a hurry to do anything. I stall it out, and now I'm chill. That's fine. Mm. Okay. Oh, you used, um, what's his face? That's fine. So you attack my defense position, monster. What you gonna do? You are? Mm. Nah. 
I just one up you till victory. Okay. Now are you gonna send freaking Shadow Mess? Finally. I don't know why you didn't do that earlier in the duel. Yeah, another blade edge or something? Another place, man, okay. That's totally fine. I'm in control of this door. Hmm. Didn't summon Sovereign. I mean, Scepter, search my Sovereign. Totally not, I'm totally chill right now. Hmm. Could go into a Deltaros. Might be best, especially since I have these Cloth Haunts and stuff. Can just summon back the Scepter. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Couldn't go into Deltaros. Sure. Forgot I did that. Wow. All right. Hear that? Wow. You got enough fucking Battle Guard Howlings back there? Like, damn. <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible card, but damn. This man is like Battle Guard motherfucking Howling. Like, alright. Cool story, bro. Oh, now I got the combo right there. Just summon, search, special, draw, special, draw, XC, pop, draw. So, I got right here. I got, finally got the combo. That's fine. I don't know what you're planning, but you're about to get fucked up. Now I'm getting a whole bunch of them. Yep, yep, yep. And now the stupidity commences. Draw. Search. I'm in draw. XC into another Delta Horse. Scepter, yes. Pop that. Pop, draw. I did the effect. Gonna be tested. Neb. Pop. Wow. Triple Battle Guard Howling. Had as man. Yep. Couldn't even play the bottomless. Whew! Oh, I stalled the fuck out, but in the end, it worked out okay. So let me go ahead and do the deck profile, and if you guys have any suggestions, uh, be sure to tell me in the comment section below. So, I'll be right back. Alright, well, here's the deck. So, of course, we have Triple Scepter, Triple Sovereign. Got him from my friend. Like a 90 buck engine, but hey, he's like, here you go. Here's you know, here's a playset. Cool. Awesome. I'll play it. Uh, of course, Triple is higher. Triple Deneb. One Vega Venom, like I said, I'm, I want to increase it to two. Uh, as you can clearly see, I was like, well, I got no more to search. I can't even make another Triv. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I saw a couple of decks doing one Vega. I saw a couple of decks doing two. And I was like, well, let me try one first. I want two. I really want two. And then, of course, Double Honest. Because don't attack me. That's pretty much. You know, if I need to stall the fuck out and play Honest, then, hey, I'll stall the fuck out. Soul Charge, because this card's fucking busted. You can fucking Soul Charge and go into this with five Warriors. Just like, wow. And then... Wow, lock it down. Book of Moon, yeah, Gen Lock, Regeki, yeah, out of the Gen Lock, also fucking Regeki. Uh, of course, Triple Rota, Triple Upstart, make it a 37 card deck. You know, hopefully draw into them scepters. That's one card later, just really wasn't getting it. You know, uh, for, for, at first I was like, oh, I don't really get Upstart, you know. But being able to go ahead and play Upstart and see that next card 
You know, because the thing is, if this was something else, then it would be, you know, that card, which wouldn't allow me to draw. Then I would draw into the next card, which still may or may not be a scepter, so it makes me one turn faster. So I'll give you a thousand life points to go ahead and see my next card. So um, this card's okay. All right, and uh, my last spell is only nine. Uh, triple Mirror Force, like, don't attack me. Double Honest Triple Mirror Force, don't fucking attack me. Like, I got this, you know. You have the Jijin Lock and Mirror Force is fucking good right now. You know, it's an easy side-out card, too, if I'm doing it right against, like, Shadals or something, so. Then the one Bottomless. I'm liking Bottomless. I think Bottomless, out of out of the five right now, I think Bottomless is the best. Because it simply gets you out of the Jin Lock and it doesn't target, you know. So, uh, you know, you can't even, like, block it with something that targets because Bottomless doesn't target, so. No, but I'm sorry, I said, I'm probably liking bottom was the best out of um, them right now. Maybe warning. Uh, vanities. Example. I'm not liking Ring Destruction, like I said, I'm probably just going to take it out right now, because I didn't even want to play it that duel. No. So, I'll go ahead and put another Vega in. Increase my monster count. Hopefully increase the consistency. Uh, Solemn Warning. I still realize that Solemn Warning is good, especially like in the mirror match. You know, especially if they go like summon scepter and chair and then do all that shit. Like, just be like, all right, Solemn Warning the Deltros, so now you don't get the pop and you know you lost your Deltros. He's never summoned, so you don't even get to summon any uh, uh, tellers out of your deck. So, yeah. Uh, of course, Triple Fiendish Chain. Return it with Trevor. Uh, you don't make Trevor as much in this deck now since the start sets, but still, you know, a great card. Triple Call of Haunted and Triple Nova. All right, extra deck. One diamond. Only one. Uh, one of this guy, number 86. Uh, like I said, with the Soul Charge plays, and if I can get multiple orders on the field, it's just going to be awesome. If I can pull up the five, awesome. The four is good, too. Then my opponent can't normal summon or set, uh, especially some monsters, which is powerful. Uh, two Deltaros, one Ouroboros, uh, two Trevor. Like I said, I don't make Trevor as much, so I drop it down to two. Two Castells, Exiton, a little chain for, to get set up, you know. Uh, you know, especially if I open up like a Vega and a, you know, Altair and a Call, I'll probably make a little chain and like send it up or something. Uh, one Emerald to recycle my Altairs. Uh, this Dweller, because this Dweller's good, Cowboy, and Rhapsody. Alright, side deck, Trove Veiler. Veiler's for pretty much the mirror match and, uh, and against like Necros. Go ahead and just attack Veiler. So I don't have to worry about your monsters on your field. Your monsters on your field are the scary ones. You know, if you can Valk all damn day, I don't give a shit, but, you know, unless you start summoning some, uh, some uh, necros on the field, and, and of course the mirror match. Uh, triple MST, because people are going to be siding in light and prisoning, so I'm going to go ahead and side the MSTs and then uh, put them in game two. You know, maybe even take out the upstarts, and you know, because upstarts are also an easy side out card, so you know, depending on what the matchup is, you know, I might go ahead and take them out, put the MSTs. Triple Defusion, uh, mostly I've just been having a problem with Shadals, and of course you guys know Shadals are going up in popularity, uh, you know, uh, Star Seraph Shadals. Um, it's not really a Star Seraph, you know, you can go ahead and go into your Delta Rest, I don't give a shit, I could probably have, you know, the shit to stop him, but, you know, what I don't have is, you know, a way to get out of, like, um, uh, like, window and stuff, so, go ahead and split you up, and you don't get your monsters back, so, there you go. And, uh, Triple Shadow Imprisoning for, you know, BA, and also more Shadow Hate. And then, of course, Triple Imperial Iron Wall, uh, for, you know, Rogue Infernoids, Rogue, uh, uh, you know, Ritual Beast. And then, also, you can play it on, uh, Necro, so they can't banish their mirror to go ahead and search if, you know, I've, uh, locked them down and put them out of resources. So, there we go. Like I said, on paper, looks totally fine. Uh, but, uh... If you guys want to go ahead and help me make suggestions, be like, you know what, try this out, or take this out, change this around, uh, be sure to. Uh, like I said, I do have the deck in real life, and I'm, like I said, I'm planning on taking it to the Utah Regionals this upcoming weekend. So if you guys want to go ahead and help me make these last-minute changes, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting up another video discussing about more about this, and uh, then go ahead and help me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will... See maybe you guys tomorrow with Cleves, but like I said, depending on the second video, uh, I will find out what I'm using tomorrow. Alright people, thanks for watching.